So good evening, good evening, good evening. We are back again, and uh, we're going to go through Mikel Arteta's press conference for the Brighton game. The hipster Deserby needs putting in the bin again. Um, they're awful. I don't care what anyone tells me. They can play as much good football as they want. They're not that good, and um, hence why they've got a plus five goal difference after thirty games. Um, Keith, I'll text you in a bit because I'm waiting to um, I'm waiting to get a text, and I'm working again at six with Rance. Um, so I'll let you know, mate, yeah? I'm just waiting on a text. Um, Alina's boy had his um, scooter nicked. So I need to go to the police station. So, um, so yeah, we'll see. We'll see, man. I need to take him to the police station. Mom, he's, he's still at school at the minute, so I'm just waiting for him to text me back. But, um, but yeah, I'll let you know, man. Uh, but anyway, listen, big up to everyone locked in. Um, hopefully we're all having a wonderful Friday. The sun is shining. It is beautiful outside. We have a suave for the stream, and uh, we have we actually have two lighters now. You can't see this one; it's yellow. Um, but we have two lighters now. After both of my lighters bust yesterday, and we were lighting cigarettes off a toaster. <laughs> That's how we roll. Um, the high flying life of a YouTuber. Uh, but yes, big up to everyone inside, man. That Chelsea game last night was crazy. Um, two teams playing the ball is lava. <laughs> Literally, nobody could keep the ball. 47 shots in the game was mad. Um, but yeah, made for good entertainment, that's for sure. Um, but yeah, Man United in the mud again. Said doing emergency streams at half one in the morning. <laughs> but yeah, up the Chelsea, proper Chelsea. All them Chelsea fans that left the stadium before the end of the game are fuming. Uh, but there we go. Oh, big up to everyone locked in, though. And um, yeah, the Seagull merchants. Um, need putting in the bin this weekend. And uh, Man City obviously played the early kickoff. Um, I'll be doing a watch along for that. Um, I'm 99.9% .9 sure I'm going to do a watch along tonight as well for Lille versus Marseille uh, on Lee Reacts, which, by the way, is literally millimeters away from, um, from 26K. This channel is nearly on 96 as well. So if you could sub, that'd be great. Uh, we're moving closer to that 100K. But, um, as for the uh, Reacts channel, yeah, that channel's flying. What, 36 subs away from um, from 26 cases. So subs to Lee Reacts as well. That would be uh, very, very helpful. And, um, yeah, get on it, guys. Get on it, guys. Seagulls for now, now, now. Listen, we beat uh, Brighton 4-2 there last season. So, um, yeah, Liverpool won, man. But uh, McAllister's goal, by the way. Oh, my days. That gives us a baller, bruv. I don't care what anyone tells me. That is one of the signings of the season, if not the signing of the season. If they end up winning the title after already winning the League Cup, then he's going to go down as a, a great bit of business for 35 million quid. Well, he already is a great bit of business. That's cheap, man. So, uh, so yeah, mad. Crazy. But anyway, listen, big up to everyone locked in. Smash these likes up. Come on, guys. Let's go, guys. We need these uh, we need these likes up. There's only two, um, only 64 likes, over 200 in here as well. Yeah, the ending of that game was funny. I can't lie. <laughs> the ending of that Man United game. They all thought they'd won it. And then Cole Palmer steps up. <laughs> two goals in 80 seconds. Dashed it. Dashed the win. Cheers. Have some of that. This is the third time I've had to subscribe to you since March. Wow. I don't know what's going on with YouTube. Yeah, YouTube's moving crazy, man. Big up Static, man. Big up Beckley. Unique as well. Yeah, come on. Big up everyone locked in here, man. Pretty sure Fabio Vieira's the same pride. Pretty much, yeah. Yeah, and this is the thing. Like, they they cocked up with that by putting a buyout clause of 35 mil in his contract. That's insane. He's worth double that in this market anyway. Um, but there we go. It's been a joke. He deserves it. Bro, I've been saying it for the longest. I liked him when he was at Brighton. I said, go and sign him. So, Lee's got no ball knowledge. Well, there's one we, we've uh, we've been eyeing up. Balls. But there we go. Anyway, uh, Man United better turn up against uh, Liverpool this weekend. <laughs> we need a victory. We need Man United to somehow pluck a victory from the jaws of defeat. But anyway, uh, big up F4, man. Prediction for tomorrow. Um, I think we'll batter him, if I'm honest. I think we'll batter him. I think I think I actually think we'll score more than we did against Luton. Yeah, this team have played football, man. Yeah, we know what Brighton are gonna do. They're just gonna play football. Yeah, and they're so naive, it's crazy. 
Hence why they concede so many goals. I think they conceded 46 goals, didn't they? Let's have a look at the table while you look, whack these likes up. Uh, they have conceded, yeah, 46 goals. They've won 11 out of 30 games. They're not good. I don't know why people think they're amazing. They're level on points with shelves. They're not that good, guys. Newcastle are above them. And Newcastle have lost 12 games this season. Man United have lost 12 games this season. <laughs> They're dusted. Nine points off fifth. 11 off fourth. I'm surprised he's still got a job. But there we go. Anyway, less of them. Uh, let's get into this press conference, man. Let's read out some of the... Um, some of the quotes from Mikel Arteta. Super Mick. And now we've got the glasses, we can see that the process is banged, guys. If only I'd had these glasses before, we might have won the league last season. Who knows? Who knows, guys? Top's is going to win us the league. Um, I don't know, man. Well, listen, we've all got to play Aston Villa as well. Us, City and... Um, and Liverpool, we've all got to play man. Um, we've all got to play Aston Villa, so they're going to have a say in it. And I actually let me have a look at Aston Villa's um, fixtures. Yeah, they've got. Um, well, they've played Man City. Obviously, they got battered. Um, they have got us on the fourteenth. So what? Nine days from now. So we've got three games in the next nine days. We've obviously got. Um, We've obviously got uh, Brighton at the weekend, then Bayern Munich on Tuesday, and then Aston Villa on the weekend next weekend. So, yeah, three big games coming up, man. Every game's a big game now. we just got to keep winning. Just keep winning. Yeah, and the fact that we're con conceding hardly any goals is mad. We've conceded four goals this calendar year in the league. And one of them was Ramsdale gifting it to him, to Brentford. So, so yeah, I'm kind of confident we're going to Brighton this weekend, the Seagull Merchants, and uh, we're going to go and uh, we're going to go and beat them. But we shall see. We shall see, guys. Uh, but anyway, uh, big up to everyone who's joined. Um, Mikel Arteta has done his press conference earlier this morning. I thought, no, I'll wait until this afternoon. I'll have a little sit on the patio, get me tan. It don't look like I'm very tanned, but that's because the lights are on. Uh, but I'm actually getting quite tanned. Just sitting on the patio for an hour here and there. Golden child is back. Anyway, 12 likes, guys. Come on, let's go, guys. Let's get this sorted, guys. Anyway, anyway, guys, but, 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 but guys, <laughs> funny watch along last night. What a game. Mate, do you know what? They've that's still demonetized that stream as well. Every time I share other people's streams while I'm live, it demonetizes them. It demonetized that four times while I was live and then re-monetized it. And then at the end, as soon as I finished the watch along, it demonetized it. So by tomorrow, after, and now it's out about... 16,000 views. Cheers for that, YouTube. Cheers. 10,000 of them are not monetized. Thanks for that. That's cost me a few quid. Cheers. So uh, I won't be sharing anyone's streams anymore. Um, it's not all about that. But there we go. Anyway, let's go, guys. Uh, glad I could catch the stream, says Luke. Big up to Luke, man, for the super chat. No one says anything when you praise our team. Yeah, it's true, bro. Do you know what I'm saying? Keep up the good content. Come on, bruv. Bosh. Yeah, nobody, nobody clips that up, do they? You know what I'm saying? It's, oh, you're negative. Okay, cool. What, you only watch certain clips? Maybe watch it all, innit? Because people are wrong, that's why I just say what I want. Doesn't matter what happens this season, it's my fault we didn't win anything, or I'm in the mud. So, yeah, that's why I just do what I want, man. But, but listen, we might be having a little link-up soon as well, me and Northside, man. He might, he might be out here for the uh, North London Derby at the end of the month, which is going to be sick because Tower's coming out the same weekend. So, yeah, that should be sick, man. That should be proper sick. Lads on tour. Lads on tour. Mobs is in trouble, lads. <laughs> Not that I really want to go there anyway, but I'm sure they probably do. Um, but anyway, anyway, guys, big up for the super chat, though, bro. I appreciate that, man. And we hit 100 likes. Come on, let's go, guys. Right. Let's... Um, Let's get this press conference sorted. Let's get this done, guys. Let's move that over there. Just rejig the screen a little bit. Whoops, what have I done here? Perfect. Okay, cool. Right. 
after guiding his team to 10 games unbeaten in the Premier League. Gosh. Is that a record? Is that the longest he's gone unbeaten? What's the longest Arteta's gone unbeaten? Maybe it's longer than that. Arteta attended his pre-match press conference for the game against Brighton, aiming to make it 11. He was asked about injuries, Brighton's form, keeping up the title race, and utilising different styles of play. Among many other topics, here's what he had to say. Obviously, everybody wants to know if Bukayo Saka's fit. He said, we all know now, today, we have a training session in a few hours. Obviously, they're probably training right now because he did this earlier today. Um, we will know whether he's fit or not. Everyone else seems okay, though, uh, which is good. Um, on how happy he was with Wednesday after his changes, he says, obviously, I was very pleased with the result, the performance, and the fact that everybody responded the way I expected them to respond. When you make changes, there is a possibility that they haven't played for so long um, that it could go the other way. But the boys were really good. We were playing pretty well at the week um, in the week. It weren't amazing, but it weren't crap either, was it? Let's just be real with it. Uh, he was then asked about if Smith Rowe came bouncing into training. <laughs> okay. Uh, you can see that, but I think an example is Reese. Reese. Uh, in the previous game, he was not in the squad. And then the next, he's ready to start. If someone doesn't react the way he did after, you are not ready to perform. So I'm really pleased with that kind of reaction to the team. Emil was really strong in the game, though. Um, and if our four away games are where the title will be won or lost, whoever asked that question is a wrong one. But I expect nothing less from this bunch of merry men, these puppets. They go and sit. Puppeteers. Like the puppet masters, what a stupid question! On if our four away games are where the title will be won or lost. Oh no, we have eight games. What are you waffling about? We could win all four of them away games and then lose all four at home. What a stupid question! Was that Canton that asked that question, or was it Charlie Boy? Uh, he said yes, but it's home as well. See, muddied. Whoever asked that is muddied. And we have Champions League games and some big games at home. So every game in this league is extremely difficult. Um, look at last night, what happened again. And everybody is suffering to win because the level is so high. Uh, well, it weren't in that United game last night because <laughs> the levels weren't high in that game. That's for sure. And we're going to have to be a really tough opponent um, for Brighton. Uh, we know that they're decent. So um, we have to prepare well and be better than them to try and win it. On whether he was watching two games simultaneously last night. I was watching a bit of both, to be fair. And until late, but the Chelsea versus Man United one was well worth it. Um, until the end, it was fantastic. It's unbelievable, the league that we are involved in. It's a joy. And the level of quality of the players and the show that they put on is fantastic. The quality of Man United and Chelsea players is shit. Let's just be real with it. And whether he was watching the Liverpool game in a Sheffield United shirt. Journalism is dead, guys. Journalism is dead. Uh, the answer to that was no. You've gone, to, um, you've gone to study journalism. You've got a degree in journalism. You've gone to journalist school. And then you sit in our super mic. Was you watching the Liverpool game last night? In a Sheffield United shirt, Mikel. <laughs> no. Cool. Um, on Thomas Party wanting to stay at the football club, uh, he better have his head here because we are playing for big things and that's what we expect. Bosh, tell him, Mikel. Uh, we need him to, um, we need him because he's a top player and a very important one for us. You could see on the pitch uh, his impact for us. He's our player. Uh, he's got one more year on his contract. I'm really happy with him. Crazy. Uh, this sport is finished. <laughs> yeah, that game had zero quality. I can't lie, it did. Zero quality. Are you looking proper dressed? Come on. The sun's out. I've got my shorts on. So, yeah, I've got my me, me skinny legs out, my skinny arms out. Thick man is back again, guys. And um, we're getting tanned up in the process. The process. The tanning process, guys. The tanning process. Big up to you, Anthony, man. Hope you're good, bro. I think it's real journalism. Uh, that ended when uh, COVID hit me. 
Um, it's easy to be a journalist these days. You don't have to do anything apart from just agree with what they're saying and ask stupid questions. Um, on Kai Havertz's contribution this season, we said his name, Bush Shots. Cheers. I'm very pleased. He's got incredible qualities to occupy different spaces and in the attacking phase. What does that even mean? He's got different qualities to occupy different spaces in the attacking phase to threaten the goal, to link up play. And when you have to be more direct as well, he will give you that layout. What does this even mean, guys? He'll give you that layout. Okay. And not only that, but I also think his contribution defensively is outstanding for the team with his work rate <laughs> and the effort he is putting in, um, especially in the high press. He's got more to come, more games to come. He needs to improve the numbers, but I'm sure he will try to do it. <laughs> On whether we've seen Kai's best yet, I don't think so at his age. He is just starting with us. It's his first season. He's building those relationships. He's moved in those positions as well, uh, and that's good. And with his, in, and with the intelligence that he has, he can be much clever. Uh, that's a typo, by the way. With the intelligent that he has, he can be much clever. They wrote it's intelligence, not intelligent. But there we go. Uh, we know that the mutant that wrote this is probably about nineteen and just come out of flipping an apprenticeship with Arsenal Football Club. And he has to put the typo in there to continue being a mutant. Anyway, I'm being happy about our defensive record in 2024, uh, for sure, because I've talked about it. First of all, organisation in the team in a defensive phase. I fucking hate that word. Phase. Everything's a phase. And the desire that the players have to keep clean sheets, defend well, and make it difficult for our opponents, that gives us a big platform. And on the weekend, that's going to be a really important thing. They are a top side. Uh, on Roberto De Zerbi's work at Brighton, he said, I'm very impressed. He's a top manager with top coaching staff. Well done, mate. He's managed to football for 11 years. He's been relegated uh, and he's won one trophy. Well done. Uh, I think they're an unbelievable football club. Well, they're not, are they, Mikel? They've won zero major honours in 122 years existing. Uh, so they're not incredible, are they? So let's stop gassing it up because they're not incredible. Um, yeah, I see that. I watched Northside stream earlier. I see that. I see it, guys. But this is what they do, guys. They hype up everything. And then when we don't win anything, they make up excuses. He's improved a little bit. He has improved a little bit, but listen, he's still nowhere near the level he was at Leverkusen. So, how sunny is Spain? Um, 24 degrees, mate, right now. Beautiful. Gosh. Summer is here, guys. We had eight days of rain. Straight eight days of rain. I've never seen anything like it. And uh, now, this is going to be sunny pretty much every single day now, all the way through till the end of October, mid-November. Maybe even longer. So, yeah, summer is here, guys. Summer has landed. Anyway, guys, let's carry on, guys. Get these likes up, man. Come on. We're slacking. We're slacking on the likes, guys. Only 131 likes. This is shambolic. Anyway, uh, the way they run the football club, the decisions they have made, and how they've established themselves in the league, and now fighting with the top clubs as well. They've done a magnificent job. I think Roberto is given a very clear style and attractive way of playing football. How about a winning style? How about that? And they make life difficult for the opponent. Uh, and what we need to do to win the title, again, Canton and his mates obviously haven't got no clue what they're doing. Uh, win the fucking games, mate. How about that? Uh, and he said, win more games. Pretty obvious. Even a mutant could figure that one out. Uh, that's what we have to do. Uh, we are still not at the top, and we have to transform that into winning and winning and winning. And that's the only way to have a chance in the last game of the season to do it. And whether he's surprised to have scored the most and conceded the fewest, but still isn't top. This is the level. 
It's been the level in this league for the past six or seven years. Margins are small. Uh, let's see those numbers at the end of the uh, last game. And hopefully, if those are maintained, I think we have a good chance. I agree. Totally agree. Well said. Well said. If we have the best defence and the most goals at the end of the season, with the most wins, we probably should, probably will be champions. If we don't have all of them, we probably won't. Just got to carry on winning. Anyway, uh, and whether we um, and whether he is most pleased with the defense or the scoring record, again, what a stupid question! Why would you ask that question? Like, oh yes, I'm, I'm, I prefer not conceding goals as opposed to scoring goals. Dumbass questions. These journalists are thick. He said, only the winning one. Bosh. Only the winning one. That's what he cares about. Uh, that's the only one I want. Obviously, the process. He said process, guys. Shut, shut, shut. He got like a shot every time he says process, guys. Or phase. Or outstanding. Or phenomenal. They're all his buzzwords, aren't they? Uh, obviously, the process is super important. And at the end, you want that to reflect in the outcome. This is what we're hoping for. And whether it's a compliment that deserve, he didn't want to think about the uh, to think about Arsenal yet. What's that all about? Um, we all think the same about our opponents. I have the same feeling with them. We finished the game on Wednesday, and straight away I was on to Brighton uh, to select the best lineup as well. These are the things we have to plan to train, and we have to train and give them the right recovery and ready to win games. And whether he will watch the title rivals games. He said, I don't know. I have to feel it. Every game will be different. I think my wife and kids have a big say on that as well. Establish authority in your household, Mikel. You're the gaffer. You're the boss. My little one will come and want to play Lego or go outside to play football or saying girls. Well, I think I watched the majority of these games. Exactly. Establishing control. Shut up. I'm watching the game. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but I will be watching it with them. See, good dad in that. Do you know what I mean? Well done, lad. Well done. Um, on how much his coaching philosophy is about stopping the opponents. If you want to dominate games, you have to suffocate the opponents. And you have to have the ball. And when you have it, you have to use it in the best possible way to maximise threat. When you don't, um, try to win as soon as possible, as far as possible down the pitch, then you cannot do that. So you have to do something else. But they all know how important that is in football. Every phase, there you go, shots, is to be fair. Okay, on influences that he's had in his management throughout his career, another shit question. Another stupid question. I have learned a lot from my coaches. David Moyes is a really good example. Uh, not only in the sense... In that sense, but in many other things that he does, I really like admire him. You try and pick things and blend it, facts, and make it your own. Uh, I'm not being involved in chaotic games very often anymore. Uh, we've been involved in a few of them. Yes, we have, loot and away. Um, but probably not that recently, I don't know. As a spectator and as a football fan, Chelsea Man United was a hell of a game. Yeah, for all the wrong reasons. Yeah, get these likes up. Come on, guys. Learning from Moyes is like learning not what to do. <laughs> Arteta is scary, dangerous, world-class, and scintillatingly unstoppable, guys. Yeah, these journalists are dead, bruv. I can't lie. They're not journalists. They're, they're puppets. Uh, does anyone know the field tilt of the game last night? Does anyone know that? Raining every day in spring here in Manchester. <laughs> The most rain in the last 18 months has fallen since record began in the 1860s. Wow, is that true? That's mad. Bro, we had eight days straight, yeah? I can't lie. Since I've lived here, which is, what, four and a half years, bro, I don't think I've seen more than two days of rain in a row. And when I say it rained for eight days straight, I'm talking it was crazy. Thunder and lightning. When it rains, it is proper rain. Like, bash. 
Uh, sometimes it'll say it's raining and I just laugh because I'm like, yo, all these days are like super hot and it says rain, 45% or 50% chance. It it drops a couple of droplets of rain and that's, that's it for the day. But them last eight days was mad. Absolutely crazy, guys. C-Tech Bart Simpson said he would volunteer to fight in the war in Ukraine. Well, why hadn't he done it then? <laughs> Did he actually say that? Why hasn't he done it then? Why ain't he there? He's full of shit. Sounds good though, doesn't it? Anyway, pump these likes up, guys. Come on. Let's get 200 likes. It's 450 in the building. Um, and if he's worried about Bukayo burning out before the end of the season, he said, I'm super positive. Uh, I think he's going to be uh, to fly and to be decisive, guys. On his ability to recover from setbacks quickly, uh, because he's strong and how much he wants it when you talk to him uh, and how excited he is about what is coming he wants to be there he's getting better and better and it's normal to have little niggles uh, you have kicks and he's gone through a lot in the last two or three years and now look at the way he's performing well the last three or four games he's been shit and uh, you're only as good as your last game guys uh, so yes hopefully Bako Saka starts scoring goals and, and getting involved in the games again because he's been marked out the last three quite comfortably uh, on if a meal is part of the plans going forward, another dead question. Like he's going to sit there and go, no, nah, we're looking to bin him, mate. Yeah, I'll be honest with you, Canton, and, and Watts and Benj and Wheatley who's wormed his way back in again. Um, I'll be honest with you. Yeah, we're going to bin him in the summer. Like he's going to sit there and say that. What a stupid question. But anyway, we'll read his answer. Yes, I look at him and what has happened in the last two seasons, especially with him, what has happened three seasons ago as well. Uh, take all of that. It's the best thing that could have happened to him in his career if he uses it the right way now. So don't look back and say, if, if, but, but, but. <laughs> uh, no, this happened. Use it. Uh, that was the best thing that could have happened. I had a great moment. I had a difficult moment. Now I know what I want to do and how to deal with it. That is going to be much better for me as a player. You can see he's a hell of a player. He is a good player, Smith Rowe. Um, and we have to have him fit and playing at that level. Uh, on Rob Edwards saying we have no weaknesses, uh, he said, well, I see him. Yeah, Rob Edwards mudded. Love it. Take that little hipster back down to the championship and be done with. But he's the best looking manager in the league, according to the AI guys. <laughs> yeah, well done, mate. Best looking manager. Yeah, cool. Good one. Uh, managers probably see all of um, see all the time what we don't have rather than what we actually have. Uh, but it's good to hear from other managers what they think about the team. We still have to evolve a lot and try to do so. Uh, on the areas we can improve in, he said, I can't tell you this, but we have many. Exactly. Uh, why is he being so toxic and negative? Why is our manager saying we need to improve in many areas? Why is he so toxic? Just be happy, guys. We're on 10-game unbeaten streak. We're in the quarterfinals of the Champions League. Just stop being toxic. Just enjoy the ride, guys. If you can't see what you're doing, Mikel, you can F off down the lane. <laughs> Oh dear. And the last question was uh, on if we're winning games in the tunnel by intimidating teams with our aura. Oh my days. Shut up. What is that all about? I need to find out who asked these questions, honestly, because these questions are weird, bruv. Uh, it's very difficult to have the feeling of what the opponents are feeling. Exactly. So stop chatting bollocks. Uh, I've been in the tunnel playing with a different shirt. And looking at the Invincibles, and I did have the feeling that tonight is going to be really tough. <laughs> well, it was against that team, that's for sure. Uh, hopefully, we can create that, and that's something positive for the team. Bosh. That concludes the press conference, guys. Now, smash these likes up for your diputa. 27 likes to go. We've got the aura, guys. How can you tell what the other team are thinking? You can't. So whoever asked that question is a mutant. Big up to Mary as well. Rob Edwards is the most handsome manager. Bosh, Mary fancies uh, um, Rob Edwards, guys. Big up Mary. Mary, you're out, right, Mary, love. <laughs> Rob Edwards. There we go, guys. Yeah, the aura, guys. The aura will scare by Munchen. Uh, one second, guys. I'm going to go and get a beer, and we're going to 
finish the rest of this. Big up to everyone locked in. 500. Smash these likes up, though. Come on. So, guys, let's go through the comments, guys. Let's read your comments out, guys. Let's go, guys. Let's fucking go, guys. Let's go, guys. <laughs> hey, bro, I'm not even joking. That's what they asked them. These questions are real questions, bro. I'm not making them up. They're on their website. I'm not going to share their website. F them. But um, they're, on their, they're on their website, guys. Uh, but anyway... Yeah, anyone who's not subtly reacts, why? Let's get it going, guys. I'm going to stick the link in the chat. Sub to this channel. I need 36 subs. I need 36 subs, guys. That's what I need. Come on, guys. We need 36 subs for 26K. So let's get that boxed off now, if we can. That'd be great. I want it done this weekend. Lovely jobly. It'd be lovely. I'd love it if we got 26k. I'll tell you, badly wants Luton to get relegated so he can be the most handsome again. <laughs> oh dear. Arteta thinks Brighton are scary and scintillating. When did Zinchenko say these comments about it go and fight the war in Ukraine? Yeah, mate, where, where have you been for the last 18 months, mate? Why have you decided now that you would? I would fight in Ukraine if I got called up. <laughs> Let's read this out. Just looking at his face, man. He just looks like one emotional wreck, doesn't he? He always looks like he's about to cry. Uh, Arsenal footballer Alexander Zinchenko says he would leave the UK to fight in Ukraine if he got called up. But, but, but why don't you just offer your services, mate? Why don't you offer your services instead of, uh, if they give me the call up, guys, I'll go. What a shit. 27-year-old told BBC Newsnight he has donated about £1 million to help people in his home country. Well done. Um, he said Ukraine has become a shield for Europe and called for more support. On Wednesday, the country's president signed into a law, a bill lowering the military mobilisation age from 27 to 25. This would allow the country to call up more people to replenish its reserves. It comes after President Zelensky said in December that the country would need another half a million soldiers to be mobilized. Oh, well, there you go. Get him on the first flight. Should we whip, do a whip round? Should we do a GoFundMe? Get him on there. BBC Newsnight asked the footballer whether he'd answer a call up if he saw more value in it than staying and playing football in the Premier League. He said, I think the clear answer is I would go to fight. Imagine him on the front line. Fuck it. Uh, he added that the former, um, that he has former high school friends fighting on the front line. It's tough to understand. I'm not reading all this. Fucking this goes on forever. We're getting that there. Bollocks. See you later. Adios, il de puta. Yeah, man, we'd, we'd drop him off. Should we do a whip round? Let's do a GoFundMe page to get his flight out there. Let's do a GoFundMe, guys. Mad. Madness, guys. It start crying, do you know what I'm saying? Can you imagine him on the front line putting his head above the parapet? It'd, it'd be in tears, mate. In tears. Get out of here. Get out of here, guys. What's going on here, guys? Embarrassing, guys. An inverted war, you know what I'm saying? He's too inverted for that. Facts. <laughs> Garrison support. Are you not crack me up? But anyway, yeah, listen. I need this uh, I need this 26k done so if anyone's not subtly reacts get on it 
Uh, I'm 99% sure I'm doing the, uh, the football tonight, the French League. Hello, Frenchy. Um, we're going to do, I'm going to pin that comment, actually. Um, Lille versus Marseille. I'm pretty sure I'm going to do it. We'll see. Hopefully Zinchenko gets binned in the summer. Yeah, I hope so. Hopefully. Do you think Arteta are coming from... Um, Barca are coming for Arteta? Probably not, if I'm honest. I don't think they will. Never. They'll never let him fight because he can't defend. <laughs> yeah, Mudrick can go as well, says <laughs> Hazard King <can> Goat. <laughs> The French League is the shittest. Wait, it's the only football on, really. It's that or the Saudi League. And I'm thinking, hmm, Saudi League's long to find a stream. I can't lie. So um, I'll get the uh, the French League on the zone. Come on, and in 35 subs, guys. Get subbing to that channel. We need it done, guys. We need it done. I need 26K. I want that channel fucking popping off. The Euros and Copper uh, America I'm doing this summer as well. Inverted Soldier. Deserve to Barca. Well. Anyway, he's linked to uh, to Juve. Juve, Bayern Munich, Liverpool, Barca. And he'll probably end up staying at Brighton. You don't need to react to football, saying so God. Um, to be honest, I get more views on football than anything else. Everyone knows me on here for what for doing football, man. So I can I can obviously react to anything, but yeah, we'll see for now. It's just football for now. Going flat out on the footy. Why are Ajax criticizing the manager? I thought it was a process. Yeah, it takes time, guys. Rotherham versus Plymouth on ESPN tonight. Bosh. Juve gets Thiago Mota. Yeah, maybe. Don't worry, Fab, man. We're beating them. We're beating them. No dramas whatsoever. Big up to Rye as well. Late as well. Yeah, bro, don't worry about it, man. You're here, man. That's the main thing. Get these likes up, guys. Come on. Why has the boy not got his uh, text? Yeah, I sent him a text saying, do you need to go police station or what, bro? Fly it. Do I need to take you there? All right. It's now finally gone through four hours later. Let's see. Let's see. If not, I'm going to text me boy Keith and go for a couple of pints before the show with Rens. I want you. I want you for you, Lee. Not for the footy. Come on. Big up, Doffy. Get these likes up. Tell them, brother. Tell them. Frankfurt versus Werder Bremen. Uh, score prediction for Arsenal Bayern. Uh, Ask me again after this weekend, bro. After we see, um, after we see whether we get any injuries. I can see us falling apart. Um, to be honest, I'm more confident we can last longer this season than last season. Uh, I'm on with Rance at 5 o'clock UK. Uh, big up Daryl as well, man. Madrid was great. I'm heading to Liverpool le and learning my Scouse accent. Um, bro, just make sure you look over your shoulder all the time in Liverpool. Uh, I'm joking before we get all the Scousers crying. Liverpool's actually a really nice city. And enjoy the game at the weekend, man. Right, that's me not going for a beer. Then the boys replied, "That's all off." Then that's all off. Anyway, let's carry on going through some of these comments. Zinchenko will be invited into the front line, leaving the back line exposed due to his poor defending. <laughs> You lot are cracking me up. 
Liverpool is dangerous, scary, and bin dippers. <laughs> Beat Brighton, no excuses. Yeah, we're beating them. Don't worry, we're beating them. I'm fully convinced we'll score more than two as well. Pray for the Everton win. Yeah, let's have a look at the uh, let's have a look at some of the fixtures this weekend. All right, I'll be doing Man City tomorrow, early kickoff. Uh, Wolves, West Ham, Everton, Burnley, uh, Villa, Brentford, Fulham, Newcastle, Luton, Bournemouth, then the Asna. Uh, and then after that Arsenal game, I'm doing the Copa del Rey final, Bilbao versus Real Mallorca in the final, the final. We will be there, guys. So free watch alongs tomorrow. Yeah, free watch alongs tomorrow. And um, and then Sunday, Sunday guys, uh, we will be there for the massacre in Manchester. Uh, hopefully, praying it'll be a pray along, a pray along. Uh, we will be there um, straight after that. I was thinking, do the Chelsea game against Sheffield United. That would be peak banter if they lost to Sheffield United. But I'm going to do the top Spurs. Top Spurs game. And um, I don't think there is any football on on Sunday night after that. There's no La Liga this weekend. So let's have a look on Sunday, see what we've got coming up after that. Oh, I'm going to do Rangers Celtic as well. Rangers Celtic's the early kickoff. The Old Firm Derby. We will be there for that, guys. So, yeah, the Old Firm Derby. Man United, Liverpool. Um... Top Spurs versus Forest. And then there's nothing on after that, really, that I want to watch. Not really anything there. No Spanish football. So, and then uh, Monday, um, there's no football at all, which is um, it's actually not too bad. That gives me an evening off. Gives me the evening off. Unless I do, um, I could do South Korea women versus Philippines women, guys, at 11 a.m. on Monday morning. So, could be there for that, guys. <laughs> Although Monday, Udinese Inter Milan's on. Not that I'm going to watch it, but. And then Tuesday, bring on Bayern Munich. Bring them on. Bring them on, guys. So, yeah. We shall see, guys. We shall see. But anyway, um, big up to everybody who has locked in. Smash these likes up. 34 subs away now from 26K. So pinned comment, guys. Get on to it. It would be nice. We should do the Chelsea match. We're dropping points there. <laughs> oh, dear. Arsenal buying combined 11. Neuer, White, Saliba, the lit. The lit shit, bro. Uh, Davis, Kimmich, Rice, Saka, Odegaard, Musiala, and Kane. Uh, maybe. I'm not sure about Saka. And they've got Kingsley Coman, <laughs> if I'm being completely honest, bro. But yeah, not bad. Not bad, guys. Imagine if it's 5 1 again. No, 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 no. It's not going to happen this year, guys. It's not going to happen. As Kane gets into the Arsenal team. Kane gets into pretty much every team on the planet. It's gonna get what's gonna happen when Zinni gets captured by a Russian. Gabriel can't bail him out. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you lot are too funny. Anyway, guys, um, we are gonna wrap this up. Uh, big up to everybody who's locked in. Smash these likes up, that'd be fantastic. Uh, who's live that I like we can redirect to. I'm going to make some food. I'll pick the kid up in 50 minutes and take him to uh, report his scooter stolen. They wouldn't let him do it without without me there for some reason. But there we go. But anyway, uh, who's live that we like? Let's have a little look. Northside is live, but I think he's going to be finishing any minute now. I think he's going to be finishing now. Oh, well, 
anyway. We'll redirect to him anyway. Fuck it. We'll redirect to Northside, guys. So, yes, make sure you go and spam his chat, people. Uh, Lee, rea uh, Lee reacts. Lee Raid, even. He's uh, reacting to the meltdown uh, from the game last night. So, uh, yeah, go and check, uh, check out his stream. Uh, I'll be back again with rants later. Um, I'm 99.9% .9 sure I'm doing the Lille Marseille game later. What the fuck is this doing? Just save it or what? Save it. Okay, that's saved. And um, yeah, man. We will be there, guys. We will be there, guys. So yeah, big up to everyone who's locked in. We're closing in on um, we're closing in on 96k on here as well. But listen, we're out of here. Redirect to Northside. Bosh, we're out. Adios, io de puta. Layers.